Emily Brodsky. I'm faculty in ecology at Sterling. So I'm here with the field ornithology course. Um, ornithology is the study of birds and the class focuses on really all aspects of birds, um, biology and natural history, their ecology um, and their conservation. And it also is a field ecology course, um, has a focus on field identification of birds and observation of their behavior um, out in the landscape. Um, and so today I have them here at the North Branch Nature Center, which is about an hour south of Sterling, just outside of the city of Montpelier. And one of the things that they do here is run a bird banding station. I happen to be a volunteer bird bander at the banding station. And so um, I took the field ornithology class here today to do a demonstration of bird banding. So bird banding is a technique for studying bird populations and demographics where we put a, um, a little bracelet, a little uh, metal leg band on the birds that has a unique code. And that code allows us to identify the bird wherever it shows up um, thereafter. So if it um, is banded later at another banding station or if it comes back in another year and is banded here, um, or if it um, is killed and shows up and uh, that band turns up, we can figure out its movements. Um, we can figure out how old it is. Um, and we can uh, learn things about um, you know, its sex and its um, breeding status and things like that. So there's a lot of information we can get from bird banding. And so um, today we went through the whole process of banding birds, which includes um, opening up the nets and then we um, waited for a while to allow birds to fly into the nets. The birds that we did have, um, I demonstrated how we extract those birds from the nets. Um, and then we went through the process of banding them and um, recording data, looking at their age and their sex and um, their uh, molting status and um, other aspects of their um, biology. And then we um, released the birds and repeated the process um, for several birds and several different species. One really great thing about Sterling is that we are located in a place where there are lots of really beautiful, amazing places where we can go out and learn about ecology and natural history. And in all of my classes, um, whether it's field ornithology or wetlands ecology or winter ecology, there's always some element where we get out in the field and we study um, the subject firsthand. Um, and so it's really valuable to the students to get that hands-on experience.